Hi, I'm Vincent Rajkumar, Professor of Medicine at the Mayo Clinic. I'm here at ASCO 2019 at the annual meeting. There have been a number of interesting myeloma uh, abstracts at the oral presentation sessions as well as the poster sessions. Um, I've just picked uh, the top five abstracts that I think have the most important information that affect practice. Uh, one of them is a randomized controlled trial of isatuximab palmdex versus palmdex. Isatuximab is a new monoclonal anti-CD38 antibody and in this trial it shows significant activity with improvements in response rates as well as prolonged uh, improvements in progression-free survival. Uh, and I expect that the results of this trial will lead to approval of the drug by the FDA. Uh, another trial a study that is very interesting is a large international myeloma working group effort to get a, develop a risk stratification system for smoldering myeloma. And this study found in over a thousand patients that using a very simple cutoff of 20% plasma cells, 20 for the free light chain ratio, and two grams per deciliter for the monoclonal protein helps you identify patients with smoldering myeloma who are at high risk of progression. So if patients have any two of these factors abnormal, that's high risk smoldering myeloma associated with a 50-50 chance of progression within two years. The study also identified a group of low risk smoldering myeloma patients who have none of these risk factors in whom the risk of progression is only 5% uh, per year. So, this risk stratification is going to be very important as we consider which patients for smoldering myeloma need early therapy. In this regard, the Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group had a great uh, oral presentation by Dr. Loniel, which was a randomized controlled trial of lenalidomide versus no therapy in patients with smoldering myeloma. And the trial found that early therapy with lenalidomide uh, prevented end organ damage and was associated with no problems with uh, no adverse impact on quality of life. So this will be a paradigm changing uh, trial which will uh, make uh, uh, lenalidomide or lenalidomide dexamethasone the standard of care for patients with high risk smoldering myeloma. Taking data not only from this trial but also from an earlier Spanish trial which has shown improvement in progression free survival and overall survival in patients with high risk smoldering myeloma treated with len and dex. Um, a couple more trials that are of uh, interest uh, is a new cell mod, uh, a new category of drug, CC220. This is a new compound made by uh, cell gene, which is in the family of the immunomodulatory drugs, but seems to have independent activity. And a phase two trial was presented with this drug, which shows significant activity in relapsed refractory patients. I expect this drug to move forward to phase two and phase three trials. And finally, the top abstract for me for this whole ASCO was a phase three trial uh, done in France and presented by Dr. Philippe Moreau. This is the Cassiopeia trial. It randomized over 1,000 patients to VTD, that is botezomib thalidomide dex versus DARA VTD, uh, where uh, the addition of daratumumab to the VT VTD regimen was tested. The trial found that the addition of daratumumab to the frontline setting uh, improved response rates and progression-free survival, and there was even a trend for improvement in overall survival. So DARA VTD represents the first quadruplet uh, that I'm very excited about in terms of being able to change uh, the standard of care. In fact, I think the results are so good, I might even consider it for patients who are currently with high-risk um, uh, newly diagnosed multiple myeloma who are young and able to undergo a stem cell transplantation. Those are really the top five abstracts. There are many more abstracts with good uh, significance. Some of them were already presented at ASH, so I didn't include them. But there's a new CAR T studies, new monoclonal antibody studies, new bispecific antibody studies, as well as other new drugs uh, that are being presented at this meeting, um, new ways of administering drugs like giving subcutaneous daratumumab instead of in intravenous. So a lot of excitement in the myeloma field. All in all, a fantastic ASCO for me.